slips it back for Taylor. And they're making some good headway here. Wood, no, wood. Now they stop. Aaron Smith away for Sonny Bill. McKenzie. Third test match as referee Lacey signals time on. And Anthony Beru kicks off. And Whitelock goes up high. That's Sam Whitelock and delivers it nicely for Smith. Scott Barrett throws a loose pass. And McKenzie has to scramble back. And he did well to boot it away down into French territory. And an opportunity for a counter-attack may be. Here's big uh, Kevin Gordon. Whoa! That's a thumping tackle by that? Scott Barrett. Here is Maestri. And the veteran French second rower. Ball. Just on the all-black side of halfway. Tata delivers it away for better. He turns it back in for fullback Favre. And France eager to keep the ball alive early on here. As Danny Presso, so far the tackling has been pretty solid from the All Blacks. And now Beru looking for a gap and almost getting through. But again, Scott Barrett makes a telling tackle as Para works it away blindside. And uh, it's Barrett again. That's three in a row. Big tackles early on from the number five as Para now delivers up for Antonio. Para works the blind side, and away it goes for left winger Fiku. Para looking for it again. This time it's slower and hooker chant. Not held, so it goes again. And the ball is not delivered well for Para. So Gordon has to go in and tidy up. Gives it away for Presso. All Blacks being forced to make a lot of early tackles in the game, but they're holding up so far. Beru gets it away, back on the inside. The support there from Sharp again as the French make some inroads. Now Presso held up off the ground, and the ball's been turned over, and Frizzell has it. Referee playing an advantage. He was lost forward by the French, so here's McKenzie finding a little bit of space right down the middle. But uh, gliding back after it, Fiku off to foul. Stays inside the 22 and drills it into touch in a long opening sequence. Safe. French scrum. Now the big shove comes from the All Blacks. Carry on, says the referee. Snapped up by Gordon. Now Senan. Battery leaves it behind. Now Serra again for Antonio. Serra, slow ball though. Fofana almost got through, but closed down by Sabia. Serra for Beru. Hands it up for Lemare. Got through. Now charging is Gontier. Quick ball for Serra again. Sharp. Only a couple of metres short once more. Serra. And that time, it's all combined with accuracy. Anthony Beru there, standing in for Morgan Parra with the goal kicking, and uh, he bangs it straight down the middle. What a start for the French, and they lead by seven points to nil. Not such a good throw, but the All Blacks get a good break as it breaks into the arms of Franks, carried on by Taylor. Leave it! Leave it! Leave it! Very slow ball. And the ball ripped away, no penalty. There's no doubt about it. The line out was compromised. They got a favourable bounce because the French player actually got up and won the line out but couldn't quite control it. And I was going to say, after a bit of a messy start and not being in the game i thought they might take the, the three damien kinsey incredibly accurate goal kicker taylor goes short very messy again but that works out mckenzie away for williams 
best attacking chance in the game so far as the captain makes some ground downfield, runs into a heavy tackle from LaRue. Aaron Smith delivers it wide for Ioane, breaks the tackle almost. Held up with a desperation. Now Aaron Smith gets it away for Savia. Now Aaron Smith again. McKenzie swings it wide. Williams, Ben Smith, and the local hero scores. They strike back the All Blacks. Great captaincy, Sam Whitelock. He knew they hadn't been in the match. He opted for the maximum. You'd have to say an element of luck again. The line-out was incredibly messy. Sevilla actually dropped the ball, but fortunately they got away with it. It rebounded into the arms of Franks. But from there it was clinical. From there it was good. Normally their tackling is uh, up to scratch, but they failed on that occasion. This boat conversion successful. Luke Whitelock wins the line out. Advantage taken in the air. Advantage against nine. the French, so advantage applies here as Williams carries it up strongly in midfield. Aaron Smith away for Franks. And the advantage continues. Now McKenzie turns it back for Ben Smith, probing through the middle. Aaron Smith again, away for Luke Whitelock. McKenzie almost. Again, the defence is good from Gordon. Aaron Smith for Sam Whitelock. And back for the penalty. As Aaron Smith rushes to the mark, but Frizzell down imagine. in midfield, is it? Yeah. He's got a head knock. You can see some claret there. Who would have thought uh, a few weeks ago that this fellow would be on the park as well? Jackson Hamopo, 19. Yes, another fairy tale story for sure. Jackson Hamopo. Well, again, the All Blacks, they have gone. And turned down the three, gone for touch, and an excellent touch finder for Damien Kenzie got it right up to that five metre mark. So the line out throw, they go short, and here's an all black drive to the line, try given. Matt Todd it is. George, just have a look at that, please. It was interesting, the throw went to the front, it was Jackson and Moko at the front, and took the ball initially, Todd drove off him. No problem at all with the grounding there. Conversion attempt from McKenzie is a good one. And it's 14 points to seven. Bind. Six. Free kick. Got to be taken quickly by Jordan. Charging hard at the All Black line. Now Serran away for Sharp. Serran again. Up it goes for Maestri, holding the ball a bit high. Now he gets it down. Here's Antonio. All coming for Serran. Oh, there's an all black hand in there. I think it might have been Sonny Bill. Just put the hand in. So advantage applies for the moment. Ball handed off for Fafana. And down he goes in the tackle of McKenzie. Still live as Beru five metres away. Now here comes the heavy artillery. Led by Shah. Bounced out of the tackle of Franks. Now Serra again for LaRue. Serra. Now they swing it wide. Held up. Fafana. Wesley Fafana shows his class. Oh, they're good tonight, the French. They really are. You have to admire what they are doing in the contact zone. The ability to offload is instrumental in everything that they are doing in a positive manner to break open this very, very good All Black defence. They are not hitting the ball, the All Blacks, and it is causing headaches. Beru converts. 14 all, both teams, two converted tries. George, just have a look at that, please. McKenzie goes short, and all the All Blacks 
read it perfectly well. It was Ben Smith leading the charge, so they immediately win the ball as Sam Whitelock takes it hard into contact. Now Aaron Smith away for McKenzie. Ioani held up in the tackle of Gordon. Now Moody, McKenzie, that looked suspiciously forward to him a ball. They let it go though. Now Aaron Smith. Taylor. Inside the 22. Both teams have looked dangerous with the ball in hand. Here's uh, Hemapo running hard on the angle again. Smith swings it away for McKenzie. Short pass. Defensive midfield holds up. The All Blacks trying desperately to release this. Okay, both, and they managed to it, no, no, no. win the scrum. Four players had a point to ground. He's restricted him from making a tackle. I think they have to look at it. They really do. Yes, they're going to, unfortunately. Yeah. He's happy. I don't think you'd be that happy, Justin, if you were in that position. No way. And look at McKenzie. He's, he, 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 he's thought, oh, my God, I'm just going to pop that over. And it's a loose throw. And it's popped up. And maybe France have one last chance. Yeah, Hunter's good. Ball is there for Senna. Slings it wide for Fafana. Oh, puts the kick through. Now the pass. McKenzie got back and he threw the pass away for Naholo. And the All Blacks in possession. And the Hooter will go at any old time. In fact, it goes right now. And into touch it goes. And what a half of rugby we've had here at Forsyth Bar Stadium in Dunedin. The All Blacks have scored three tries the French have scored two and at half time it's 21 to 14 time on so second half underway McKenzie not going to go the 10 meters and the All Blacks have touched it and so they'll have to go to a scrum on halfway so a poor start to the second half yeah it's it's a difficult kick to execute Damien McKenzie you can see what he was trying to do remember back to the first half after the All Blacks conceding points, McKenzie got it just over the 10 and Ben Smith won the contest. So that's what he was trying to replicate here. Just didn't quite get it right, a couple of metres short. Taylor throws quickly for Barrett. Now McKenzie for Williams. Naholo just on the French side of halfway. McKenzie gets it again. Whitelock driving through the middle. McKenzie away for Ben Smith for Ioani and it suddenly opened up but then it was closed down quickly Luke Whitelock McKenzie in a bit of space oh he's just so brilliant from broken play Damien McKenzie again there you have it and again it's that transition play at depth when McKenzie's just looping around and gets it at pace bit of a monumental error on defence from the tight hit prop Antonio he didn't get it right, and McKenzie spotted the gap the minute that he turned in, and because he got it with pace on, he was always going to be dangerous. Taylor throws. Whitelock unchallenged. Barrett slips it back for Taylor. And they're making some good headway here. Now they stop. Aaron Smith away for Sonny Bill. McKenzie, brilliant. You are the too much pace. Oh boy, that's a good try. That certainly is, and it was set up by the line out try. The accuracy of Cody Taylor, the calling of Sam Whitelock. They got it punching forward when Aaron Smith got the that's once from referee John Lacey. He released it while the All Blacks were on the front foot. Just his 16th test for Rico Ioani. McKenzie converts it. And suddenly the All Blacks have opened up a big lead, 35 to 14. As the All Blacks get it. Now, 
Taylor away for Brazil. Todd McKenzie, they're lining up. Good view. Here is Giovanni with his pace. Just got his ankles tipped by Fafana. And Aaron Smith as the All Blacks ramp it up now. Sam Whitelock. Smith short pass for Ben Smith. French read it well though. Turnover. They might well have turned this over. Stay down, stay it is down. there on the French side. And Ben Smith got himself in the wrong place. So Lemera. Now a wild pass. Scott Barrett. Todd gives it away. Good here. Ben Smith. Ioannis in again. Excellent from the All Blacks, but again, they're a victim of a very inefficient line out the French. They lost their four man, which resulted in them turning the ball over and the All Blacks attacking. They finally won a penalty, but they had no confidence whatsoever. Kenzie again, goal kicking's been good tonight, converts the try, his second for Rico Ioani, and suddenly the All Blacks are into the 40s. The kickoff, Luke Whitelock stretches up, nicely done by Luke Whitelock. Again the All Blacks on the front foot, now McKenzie, away for Jordi Barrett, what a pass from Naholo, get some space out on the left wing side. Still got the ball, pops it back in field, been snapped up by Frizzell. It's there Step. for Aaron Smith. Sam Whitelock, McKenzie, nice hands again from Scott Barrett. Lays it back. Here's McKenzie again. Ioana pops it away for Taylor. Champagne rugby now from the All Blacks. Slow ball, good you. Away for Ioani. Now Jordy Barrett started her all with a marvellous pass. Here's Frizzell. He lays it out for Aaron Smith. Todd holds it up. Going backwards here, though. But somehow he got it away. Naholo. Still going, Naholo. Still live and lost by Luke Whitelock. And here come the French from their own goal line. All Blacks look to have it covered, though. Here goes Galtier. Terrific movement in the game. Oh, he's lost it. Ioani hands it off to Ben Smith. Anything could happen here. Scott Barrett. Again. Yeah, again. It's going to be there for Aaron Smith eventually. He gets it off to Frizzell. Tuunga Fussy. Tackle. Defence holds up. Now Aaron Smith again. McKenzie pops the pass. Luke Whitelock almost had it. McKenzie crunching onto it goes Barrett. What a match he's had. Now Aaron Smith, McKenzie goes again. Inside pass. The ball movement is amazing. As Aaron Smith, Barrett, everywhere. Leave it. French over it, can't grab it. Tuunga Fasi. Moody. 18 minutes left. Taylor goes up the centre. Carried on by Todd. Look. Now here's Frizzell. <laughs> Shannon Frizzell on debut. Now they're having a look at this for whatever reason. John, I have clear footage that an arm was underneath the ball when he went over the line. Okay. He landed short first. Okay. And I have not seen a grounding over the line. Okay. Well, this is going to be overturned. Oh, okay. But they're not out of the woods yet. The French, obviously, with it being held up over the line, the All Blacks will have the scrum. So, in from Perinara. Right lock. A bit slow to deliver. And the French got round and nullified that for the moment. So, Perinara pops it up for Tuanukiapi. Perinara again, Luke Whitelock. Perinara once more, McKenzie, wide pass, Ioani! And that's three. 
Perico Ioani tonight. All in succession. And he joins Billy Wallace, Tana Umanga and Joe Rocafoco as All Blacks to score hat-tricks against France. McKenzie. And again, straight down the centre from Damian McKenzie. 49 to 14. So France labouring a bit at the scrum time again as Ben Smith and Wanga hands it on to Goodhue. Jordi Barrett. Now here's Naholo. Hasn't had too many opportunities tonight. Fire it back in field for Ioani. Ball is still live as it's been snapped up by Gail Fiku. And he takes it outside the 22. Hold. Hold. Coming quickly for the French, but not too many bl blue jumpers back behind the ball. Oh, slowly God. coming back. But they do win oh, no. yet another penalty, and it's been taken quickly. But not exactly rushing to the aid of the ball carrier. Just looking to have run out a bit of puff late in the game. With a couple of minutes remaining as... Sira gets it away for Mida, but he's handed it off to Naholo. Here's an intercept, and away goes Lumbi on debut, but the big four doesn't quite have it. Can they turn it into points, though? Oh, that needed to go wide. Tonga Fasi shut still it on. down. Still on, certainly is still on. Now Fiku gets it off to Fahl. All Blacks rushing back in defence. Now it's there, and it's lost forwards. Opportunity oh, lost. Wow. Big time. Lost control. Last scrum of the game to be fed by TJ Perinara. Here goes the siren. Perinara slings it wide. The All Blacks want to play. Despite the fact the siren is gone, and they flick it on. It's gone behind their own goal line. Now what? Naholo. Off he goes. Just want to provide a little more entertainment. It's Jordy Barrett. Now Perinara away for Tuanga Fussy. Perinara again. They sling it on. Frizzell played the whole 80 minutes. What a big weekend for the Frizzell family. His brother Tyson playing in the State of origin tomorrow night. Ball still there for the All Blacks. They could kick it out at any moment, but they just want to carry it. No, they don't. <laughs> the hollow kicks it out. Game over, and the All Blacks have completed the clean sweep in the series and have won by 49 points to 14. Dejection for the French, but they here, they were here, they came to these shores, and they were very competitive throughout the series. Showed progress and also some innovation in their game plan, leaving obviously 14 players back in France. We're wondering what we're going to get. Well, we've got entertainment, no doubt about it. And equally, the All Blacks impressive. And when they really cranked into gear and got their rhythm. They look world, the world beaters and world champions that they are.